This is, ow. <laughs> This is a toaster. This is all I wanted off that table at the auction. But unfortunately for me, they were selling everything on the table at the auction. So I didn't get to buy just the toaster. I had to buy every single thing off the table at the auction. Side eye. It was mainly vintage electronics. I have honestly no idea what's in there, but I paid $12 for every single thing on the table. And this thing's worth anywhere from 90 to $200 on its own. So come with me as I check out every single thing I got off that table for 12 bucks and what the total value is. Let's go. All right. <laughs> First things first is the toaster. The brand is Dual Light, and I'll show you guys some comps, but this is a four piece toaster. This little thing is so cool. Watch what happens. Look, you just pop up the bread. And then it has this little knob and this thing, and I thought it was vintage when I first saw it. I think it's actually newer, and guys, it's just, it's worth a lot of money. I don't even know if I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna hang on to this thing forever for my whole life. Maybe this thing will be at my funeral one day. So I have my phone here. What I'm gonna be doing is running comps on eBay for every one of these items. So essentially when you run comps on eBay, you will search for the item as if you were searching to buy the item. If I wanted to search for this massager, for instance, I would type in home medics, therapist, select professional percussion massager. I'm gonna type those words into eBay and then that's gonna bring up every single item that is currently listed that fits that description. That's not really what we want. Although that information is useful because it does tell us how many are currently available for sale, but what you're gonna do is click filter and scroll down. If you don't see the word sold, click show more and scroll down until you see sold. Toggle on that option and now this is every single item just like yours that has sold in the last 90 days on eBay. So here we go. This is the first item that was on the table. Homedics Therapist Select Professional Percussion Massager. It does look like a really nice massager. Let's see if it's in the box. Oh yeah, I don't even know if this thing really was used a whole lot. It's in very good condition. Let's see what it's worth. Oh dang, I was not expecting this. Okay, so currently we have 107 listed, but some of them aren't exactly the same. This one is pre-owned exactly like mine. $60 plus shipping, $45 plus shipping. All right, $21. Here's the trick though. We're gonna click filter and then scroll down until you see sold. Looks like 82 have been sold in the last 90 days. And there it is. One actually sold yesterday for $30. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. Okay, I could honestly say that there's probably a little bit of money in here. Let's say $25 plus shipping on this item. Almost every single thing on the table was an electronic, save for this. This is American Kitchen Scale. And it's funny that it's an American Kitchen Scale, but it's in kilograms anyway i don't know if this is truly vintage or not but i'm just gonna look it up um oh it says made in china the american kitchen scale made in china i'm pretty sure this is like a modern reproduction thing let's see if it's worth anything at all i'm seeing a lot of these called american family scale and i'm guessing that this is what the reproduction is supposed to be based on these are all actually vintage though i'm having a hard time finding the reproduction I think it would be best with an item like this that you can't find exactly the same one if you just assign um, what you feel like the item is worth without going over, please. Um, let's assign a $15 value to this. I feel like someone would pay $15 plus shipping for something this cool, right? What? What even is this? Um, this is the trouble, getting a bunch of random pieces off the table. I don't even know if this all goes to the same food processor, but... These parts are here, um, the Sunbeam Oscar. That looks like that might go to, wait, I think this goes to this. Oh, that is, okay, yes, this all goes to the same thing. Let me see what the Sunbeam Oscar, Oscar is going for. In addition to clicking filter by sold, I actually sorted these highest to lowest because I wanna know best case scenario, what's the most this thing is worth. Um, 
open box it, they look to be around a hundred dollars which is really cool um i see it needs this uh gray colored bowl to be on top and i'm pretty sure i have that in a bag of stuff from the auction so i'm confident if i can bundle up everything that you see for instance in this picture which is i think pretty much everything here plus the gray bowl with the lid they were able to get 65 dollars for this i consider that a huge win Okay, this doesn't really look like it's worth anything. The brand is Air King. It is a nice fan though. I mean, it has a metal guard here on the front. So it's not just some cheap uh, plastic little desk fan. I mean, it is a desk fan, but it looks like it's high quality. Let's type in um, Air King. Oh, look, it even moves up and down. Air King fan and see what if this thing is worth anything. Okay, so since Air King fan isn't just a vintage item, a lot of these that are popping up are brand new. So another thing Thing I'm going to do is filter by condition and we're going to click use. There are only 20 currently listed that are used. Hopefully that will help me sort through some of these. Oh, look, that one's exactly like mine. It's available for $16 plus $18 shipping. This one is just like mine, $14 plus $12 shipping. Um, those are currently available. So let's check out and see if any have sold nine have sold and it looks like all of these are quite a bit bigger than mine oh here's mine fifteen dollars again so this fan um consistently seems to be listed and sold for 15 bucks which is more than i paid for the lot of everything so little fan that we thought might be worthless you alone paid for this entire lot some old GPS systems like this can actually be worth a little bit of money. Um, and if not, the mount itself here could carry a little bit of value, possibly the charger. Hopefully I can just sell everything together. This is the Garmin Nuvi. I remember these. Comment below if you used to use one of these uh, because you were way too cool for MapQuest or Google Maps, 18 pages in your car to get you where you were going. Let's see what this thing's worth today. On an item like this, you're gonna want the actual model number. So you can see right there, it says Nuvi. 1300 just look around on the back nose around until you find a number or something because garmin newbie is not enough Th there are plenty of iterations of the garmin newbie we want the garmin newbie 1300 womp 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 i don't think they're worth much i mean i don't know 10 15 that is literally available for 99 cents plus shipping and nobody's bid on it um let's see 903 currently listed and this is going to be a good example of telling you guys um like sell through rates to stay away from 903 listed when i click sold 115 so like what is that like 12 percent but basically 12% of the number that are listed uh, are represented in the number that are sold. And that's not really that great. So this thing um, probably isn't worth my time. I'll bring it to whatnot and, and offer to auction it off for like two or $3. If nobody wants it, this is probably going to the thrift store. Okay, there was a Fry Daddy, a Presto Fry Daddy deep fryer. I don't know, I don't know if the cord is in here. It does look clean inside. Um, I posted on my Instagram whenever I bought this lot and one of my friends, Judy, thrifting KC style said, is that a Fry Daddy? I want that. So um, if I can find the cord for this, I will probably sell it to Judy for a good price, but just for giggles, let's see what it's worth. Okay, this one is pretty close to what I have and it looks to be worth about $16 of plus shipping. I'll probably just send this to Judy for the price of shipping. Okay, I saw this, oh, waffle iron. This is pretty cool. And wow, it's in really clean condition. Um, a little bit sticky. The brand is Viton, what does that say? Vitantonio? <laughs> What does that say? Somebody's like, Rachel, it's pronounced. You can just leave that in the comments. We're gonna type in these uh, this word here into eBay and see if this thing is worth anything. This one is an example of excellent sell-through rate. So 29 are currently listed, and when I click sold, 66 have sold. So twice the number that are currently listed have sold within the last 90 days. That tells me that this thing is absolutely going to sell. Um, and it looks like, ooh, prices are kind of all over the place on this, but I'm seeing pretty consistently around that $35 mark. So, all right, little waffle maker, you will make it to eBay. This piece, I had to put this over on my eBay. I was like, what in the world is this? I mean, there's a product number there, but when I looked in here, I was like, 
I don't understand. Apparently I was the only person that didn't understand that this is a vintage ice cream maker. People were like, did you never make ice cream? I'm like, well, since I didn't grow up in 1923, I never made it with this cast iron, whatever this thing is. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. This probably isn't that old, but it's definitely super, super cool. The entire ice cream maker is not here. This is just the drum. Uh, people were quick to tell me it's missing like a reservoir. It's missing a salt holder. It's missing the motor. So I don't guess you just turn it. Grandma's hands were not that that strong let's see um, since I have no idea brand or anything I'm just gonna type in vintage ice cream maker drum vintage ice cream drum let's see what I can find it looks like this thing is worth about 30 bucks how about a work lamp um, I actually saw this and I was like well that's probably pretty worthless but the more I look at it I think Hmm, I wonder if this would be decent for some whatnot shows maybe. And then inside the box was this little bitty baby crock pot. Isn't that so cute? There's probably like $10 value here. There's no, there's no inner lining though. And I'm pretty sure there's probably supposed to be one. So let's just say $10 here. Here's another scale. This one's the Weight Watchers Weights and Measures Kit. Let's see if it's all in there first. Yes, little food scale here. Um, maybe since it's Weight Watchers branding, it might carry a little bit more value than the six bucks I think this thing is probably worth. Let's check it out. Oh wow, here is one for $17, but that doesn't mean that it's worth $17. That's what they're asking. Okay, here's two sold, one for 17 and one for $18.21 all in. So maybe I ought to go ahead and list this thing because it's in very good condition and it still has the box. So I feel like I should be able to sell this, you know, let's just say um, $10 with $8 shipping. This may be under a pound. Finding a Proctor Silex hand mixer is about like finding a Black & Decker drill. Probably better take this straight to the thrift store, but I'll run comps on it just in case. Come on, that didn't happen. Someone didn't just sell one of these for $21. No way, really? Here's another one, $17 plus shipping. Okay, $16 plus shipping, why? Literally, why? Okay, I thought I would type it into Google and then I would see, oh, they're worth like $30 or something. No, Target has it for $16.99. Amazon has it for $15.99. So can you, Walmart has it for $12.88. Oh, that's a mainstays one. But still guys, I don't, why, why would someone go to eBay and buy this? Like, I don't know. I'm not so sure that this one's gonna get listed in my store. I, that just blows my mind. I don't understand. I may list this, I may just donate this. Oh cool, here's a freedom alert. Um, I guess it's like a life alert. Let's see if everything is in here. There's like, yeah, I think a lot of, ooh. Uh, uh, this thing looks like it may have seen better days, may have been exposed to some moisture. Maybe the accessories would be worth something. I don't know, even the cord itself is, well, I guess it doesn't have to be on that cord. Let's see if these are worth anything. The outside of the box here says a Freedom Alert model 35911. Um, so I typed that in and it looks like we have 20 currently listed. All of them are in better condition than mine. Um, like huge gap in pricing here, but I mean that one's $25. And again, it's in way better condition than mine. Out of 20 that are listed in the last 90 days, 66 sold, three times as many as what are listed. So. I don't know, maybe I should list mine and just list it really, really cheap. These just, I don't, they look like they're in way better condition than the one that I have. None of them have as old of a box as what I have. Um, mine is yellowed. What do you guys think? Should I list this maybe for parts? Maybe someone could use it for parts. A little Hamilton Beach can opener action here. It is stainless steel. Looks like someone may have, may or may not have wiped their boogers down the front of it. This is just gross to me, guys. Like, I hate leaving the auction with dirty kitchen appliances. I feel like in lieu of cleaning this thing up, let's just take it to the thrift store. Is that lazy? Maybe. Yeah, no love lost there. You can buy a brand new one for $21 with free shipping. It's going to the thrift store. Look what I just found, look what I just found. It's the pieces to the food processor, yes. That thing is, I think, my best score so far and I definitely didn't even want to bring it home. 
Here's an item that may shock some people. Guys, these hold between $15 to $30 value. I'm gonna say this is worth about 20 bucks, but I wanna show you, because inevitably someone's gonna be like, no, it's not. Not those ugly old things. Yes, they are. Here's the GE Digital Clock Radio. And again, I'm gonna look around until I see a number. There's the model number right there. I'm gonna type that in and see how many of these have sold. Here are the ones currently listed, 19, 25, 25, 13. There are 132 listed and 160 sold, more than 100% sell through rate. $30, 25, 2015, and this one is in really good condition in comparison with a lot of them that I've picked up. So here's $30 right here. I almost left this there because I have an electric carving knife listed in my store that's been listed for like three years or something. But maybe this brand is really, really awesome. Um, I can tell you I don't need it for personal use. What the heck is a vegan going to use a carving knife for? Electrocarve by Blakemore. Let's look it up. Welcome to the thrift store, my friend. What is this? It's the tiniest little blow dryer I've ever seen in my life. But it's a G. Okay, like low EMF. This has gotta be worth something. Seven listed and three sold for the mini. Um, really two sold here. So I think if I wanna get mine sold quickly, I'll price it around 20 bucks plus shipping. This blood pressure monitor is in there. Um, the IntelliSense by Omron. Okay, there's a model number right there. Let's look it up. There are 84 listed, 47 sold. Mine is all dingy and yellowed. The band isn't even in that great a condition. And look, I'm missing the adapter. Headed to the thrift store. Okay, I have three more items left of the electronics. This is one of them. This is the Presto Kitchen Kettle Plus Crockery. Um, it does have the power cord inside there. At first I was like, oh great, another electronic without a cord but the cord is actually inside. Beautiful little vintage retro piece here. Let's see what it's worth. Okay, I had to add the word vintage to this because all the ones that were popping up were new, but look, here's just the lining for $22.50. Um, it looks like we have 74 listed. 26 sold, so not that great a sell through rate, but maybe if I price mine on the lower end, I could sell it quickly. Whoa, look at that guys, $40 just for the inside lining. I wonder if it would be more advantageous for me to part this thing out. This one says it's in mint condition, $40 plus shipping. I mean, it's definitely not worthless. I think it's fair to say we can assign at least a $40 value to this piece. Last two items guys, and they might be unintentional personal pickups because Drew has been wanting a new tripod, I think. Let's see if all the parts are here for this one. I was just thinking this thing might be new and I opened up and it's still in the bubble wrap. Drew just said, yeah, I need one because mine is broke. Let's, let's see, I think it's brand new, you guys. I feel so stupid, his birthday's next week. I didn't even have to buy anything, but now he's sitting over there and he hears this video. Great, when am I gonna get him for his birthday? Happy, happy birthday. I'm so glad you're here. Have this tripod. Stick it in your ear or what? <laughs> Back to the electronics. Um, I could use this or Dello could use this. I saw his Mustang the other day and guys, I'm just saying, boy needs to clean his car up a little bit. Um, this, does it come with these accessories? There's no way he's getting this. If this guy has all this, I'm keeping this in the Bronco. Let's see what's in here. What, get straight out of here. This thing just needs a bag. But my mother-in-law got me this really cool Bronco bag and I could put this in the Bronco bag in the Bronco. I kind of love it, but you know, I'm gonna comp it out just in case. MVP Superline. Eh, $30 free shipping, definitely hanging on to this myself. I lost track of the total value of everything. I was trying to keep it on my cell phone, but here's the total value. So I paid $12 for everything, and all I wanted was that toaster. If you ever find yourself in an auction situation where they're selling the entire box and you just want one item, don't be afraid to buy the entire box or buy the entire table, even if you don't know every single item that you're getting because after the research, I promise you, you're probably gonna come up out on top and be thankful that you just took a chance on those items. I don't have time to keep talking to you guys. I gotta go list this stuff. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Treat your business like your business. Bye.